Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be going over an optic that I just picked up for my AR pistol. So I kind of hinted to what I was gonna go with in a couple of previous videos and some people gave me some other suggestions and uh, I kind of just did a bunch of reviews on all the different optics and came to the decision that this is the one I wanted to go with. Uh, it's budget friendly. I've seen a bunch of tests on it uh, as far as torture tests accuracy, uh, adjustability, uh, endurance, and how it's held up over time, and kind of just seemed like the, uh, the choice that I wanted to make, and that's what I did. So this is the Sightmark Ultra Shot M-Spec. So uh, this is a reflex style sight. It's got the, wild, the wide field of view, Fast target acquisition, durable fix, picked any mount, parallax free dual lens system, 12 hour auto shut off with low battery indicator, 10 reticle brightness levels with night vision compatibility, and it is a motion sensing on off uh, optic with up to 2000 hours battery life. That's obviously gonna be on its lowest setting. Uh, I think it's it ranges from 200 to 2,000 hours depending on brightness level and how long you actually have it on. So let's uh, go ahead and check it out and we'll talk a little bit more about it. It does come with this little neoprene case. Not that you'll ever probably use it unless you throw it over top uh, once it's mounted onto your rifle, but I don't plan on doing that. does have this little battery thing here. Okay, so this uh, this does have an integrated sunshade right here that is made out of plastic, which I'm not really a big fan of. The hood here is made out of 6061 aluminum and the body is magnesium alloy, so pretty durable uh, it's recoil rated up to 50 bmg it's shock proof dust proof and waterproof up to 40 feet which is pretty insane i don't know what you would be doing scuba diving with this thing but hey it's there it's got 10 different brightness settings and like i said or like the box said it is uh night vision compatible with those uh with those settings it's has a one MOA windage and elevation adjustment, takes a CR123 battery, uh, does have a low battery indicator. It's one by magnification, 33 by 24 lens. Uh, let's see what else is going on with this thing. It has a uh, 120 MOA, MOA range of adjustability. And this thing has operating temps of negative 22 degrees to 160 degrees. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on here and uh, see what we got. So there's your uh, reticle. So this reticle here is a 65 MOA circle dot with a 2 MOA center dot. So that center dot right there is 2 MOA. And then we can kind of play around with our uh, our brightness here. So. That's really dim, obviously, to the point that it's off. And then this thing gets crazy bright, which is pretty much a, it's a pretty good thing because you're going to have those days where it's really, really sunny and uh, really bright. Maybe you're out in the snow and stuff like that or desert, and you're going to need that reticle to pick up because it's so bright everywhere around you. But it's also adjustable enough to go pretty low in the event that you have... Uh, some dark conditions out and you don't want that thing to be blaring in your face and getting all distorted so uh so yeah there's that uh 10 different brightness settings like we said and then i don't know if it's it's not going to do anything but the nv button here it goes into night vision mode so there's that all right so these uh adjustments they're all digital as far as these, uh, your battery. So again, it's a uh, 123 battery, which are fairly common. So these, you know, used to not really be able to find them too many places. Now you can find them all over the place. So 
not really that hard to get anymore. Uh, several years ago, it might have been might have been an issue, but not so much today. So obviously, this thing's probably made in China, but they do have a little American flag on here saying designed in Texas, you know, whatever. So for me, it was between this and the Holosun, and I don't know. You guys can watch some other reviews on these things. Uh, this thing holds up really well. <laughs> there was a guy who uh, dropped it off the deck, froze the entire thing. Uh, I believe 704 Tactical dumped a bunch of water in here everywhere, made sure everything was waterproof and was beating the crap out of it with a water bottle and uh, still held uh, zero pretty freaking well. So uh, yeah, overall this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, so the dimensions of this, in case you uh, can't tell, it's four inches long, 1.85 wide and 2.3 inches tall and it weighs 9.6 ounces so overall it's not too heavy it's not too bulky it's uh it's gonna look pretty good on the uh, ar pistol and i'm excited to get this thing uh dialed in and then see how she does on the uh on the range with my 300 blackout so i'm pretty stoked about this turn this up a little bit so we can see that there we go not sure how well you guys are gonna pick that up on camera but it's pretty Pretty good looking optic and it's gonna just increase my uh, target acquisition. And then I have uh, backup sights also in case for whatever reason this thing decided to fail me. But I mean, overall, this is a pretty quality piece. Uh, sight Mark's been stepping their game up lately. I know, you know, before if you ran one of these, you'd get laughed off the range. But uh, I mean, I'm not the guy who gets caught up in brands. If, if you make a good product, I'll give it a shot and uh, and try it out if if you don't then i won't but uh i'm not gonna pay 500 dollars for a eotech that yeah maybe it is superior but is it really gonna do anything for me and what i'm doing out on the range or in my shooting experience i don't know maybe maybe not but 200 versus almost 600 kind of uh kind of sways my decision a little bit so i paid 199 for this free shipping they go anywhere from that to around 250. So depending on where you get it and how, how good you are at finding deals is uh, what you're gonna pay. But like I said, for me, it was between this and the Hollow Sun and those can run around 250 to 300. So I, uh, I went with this and I will get to the range sometime this week, hopefully. And uh, we'll see if I, uh, regret my decision or if I'm uh, gonna be happy with my purchase. So there she is guys, I'll get back to you once I get this thing mounted and uh, I'm out there ready to, ready to test it out. Thanks for watching.